gotcha. Ah, missed you. Rats. Well, actually, that's not quite correct. Mouse, to be exact. And not a cute little pet mouse either, but a rascally rodent who's taken over this house. Hmm, it's rather strange if you ask me. I mean, why does a mouse want to live in a house? Hmm? A mouse likes to live in a house because it likes to watch TV. So they can eat all of the food you've got left in the house? Because the cats might eat them. So that the rain doesn't get on it. Because it's cosy. It can eat all the scraps off the floor. Hmm, you could be right. But I think a mouse likes to live in a house because it likes to watch TV, right? <coughs> oh. Well, okay then, if it's because of food, then we need to find proof of mouse mastication. Do you like that? Mastication? <coughs> Big word, huh? Know what it means? Yeah, neither do I. No, I do really. To masticate means to chew. So we need to find proof of mouse mastication here in this house. So let's use our powers of observation. Ah, look what I found. Ha <laughs> ha, proof that a mouse has been in this house for quite some time. Enough time to make a sandwich and devour a huge portion of it. Hmm, by the look of this bite, we're looking for one big mouse. Oh, hang on, uh, beetroot, cheese, banana. Hmm. That's mine, yum. Mm. Mm. Let's keep looking. Hmm? Mm. Oh, crumbs, look at this mess. What have we got here? Ah, it could be what we're looking for. Signs of mastication. Oh, and what's this? Oh, defecation. Doo-doos. To defecate is to do doo-doos. And mice do doo-doos really well. Well, I suppose it's got to go in one end and come out the other, doesn't it? Hmm. Masses of mastication and defecation. Right. I think it's time that the culprit and I had a few words, don't you? Yes. When hunting a wild beast, it pays to be prepared and never underestimate your prey. Oh no. Although a mouse isn't big and scary, it is small and rather fast. And that comes in handy for hiding. So how am I going to catch this wee beastie? Well, there are lots of traps available on the market, but because I want to have a look at the mouse after I've caught it, I don't want to hurt it. So that means... One moment. There. This bait here is out. Mice are attracted to this bait by the smell. They run up and they just gobble it. But it is poison and it will stop a mouse dead. Warning, warning. Because it's poisonous for humans too. So if you ever see this stuff, don't touch it. And if you should touch it accidentally, make sure you wash your hands well afterwards because it could leave you feeling rather sick. Well, these traps will do severe damage too. If this were a real mouse and it came along to get some food, <coughs> whoa, hmm, it would have its neck broken by this bar here. So I don't want to use a trap like that. I'll use a trap like this instead. I'll put some mouse food inside the mouse will come along to gobble it up and it won't be able to get out again. Very soon we should have a beastie to investigate. Hi, Susie Ann Cam here. Our mice are mammals and these babies are only a couple of days old. 
aren't they the cutest things you've ever seen? Well, a female mouse can have around eight litters of babies in one year. At about eight babies a litter. That's 64 babies in one year. Well, they're born without any hair and they suckle on their mother for milk. But within a few more days, they'll have a light coat of hair. And within two weeks, they'll be foraging for food themselves. They grow really quickly. And soon they'll be mums and dads too. You'll normally find a wild mouse out here in the wild, out in the great outdoors, in a shelter that's near food. Food like fruit, vegetables, seeds, grains, or near a good supply of beetles, bugs, and worms. Remember, mice are not fussy eaters. So what have we got here? A good shelter with a good food supply. Why would a mouse want to live in a house? Rain! Now let's think about it. It's winter, it's wet, it's cold. Where would a mouse want to be? I know where I want to be. Inside. Come on. Ooh. Ah, ha. Here's the little squatter who helped herself to this house. But before I actually give her the eviction notice, let's check her out close up. Come on, how'd you come? There. Well, this is actually a pet mouse that's been hired for the role of a wild mouse. Wild mice aren't too keen on being caught or held. But a wild mouse is similar in colour to wee Molly. And although the ears of a wild mouse can be slightly bigger, everything else looks pretty much the same. Mice would probably be better off wearing a pair of glasses because they don't have very good eyesight. Well, they make up for that though with their hearing and their great sense of smell. Their whiskers are very useful too. They help a mouse judge distances, like how big a hole is and if they'll fit. So, why does a mouse like to live in a house? Well, although a mouse isn't too fussy about where it lives, it does need protection and warmth and shelter. All those things it can get in a house. Should you decide that you do want to have a mouse in your house, get a pet one and a cage, something similar to this. You'll need to change the bedding regularly and use sawdust or straw. Give your mouse lots of fresh bedding, fresh grass to build a nest. And the food will need to be changed regularly. It's a container here of nuts and grains and lots of fresh water. Mice were first introduced in New Zealand about 150 years ago. But you'll find mice like these all over the world. They're all related. You'll find mice wherever you find humans. Which can be a bit of a problem because mice can carry diseases. So the same when you've been holding any other animal, make sure you wash your hands. If you'd like a fact sheet for this or any other Susie's World program, write to us at PO Box 34307 Auckland or go to the website at www.susie.co.nz. You'll find lots of information there. See you later. Then I think we need to find proof of mouse mastication. <laughs> like that? Big word, huh? Mastication. You do like it. No, yes, you do like it, you fool. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.